Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Bold and the Beautiful Steffi explodes over Hope's sketchy stunt with Finn. In the latest episode of Bold and the Beautiful, the tension between Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Maxinswood, intensifies. Hope, evidently intoxicated, passionately kisses Finn, Tanner Novlin, Steffi's husband, sparking a series of dramatic events. Despite Finn's firm rebuttal, Hope's obsession with him appears unabated. Her actions, potentially mirroring past behaviors of Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, are set to ignite a firestorm when Steffi eventually uncovers them. Meanwhile, Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, struggles to maintain her composure. As Steffi's wrath looms, Hope's actions could have profound implications for her career at Forrester Creations, and also her relationship with Thomas on Bold and the Beautiful, the question remains whether Finn will keep Hope's secret or if Steffi will discover the truth through other means. With the return of Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, Brooke's past interference in Steffi's parents' relationship adds another layer of tension to the unfolding drama. As Hope's fixation with Finn seeps into the open, viewers are left anticipating the inevitable showdown between Hope and Steffi and questioning the storyline's implications for Hope's mental health. Get all your daily bold and the beautiful spoilers and news here at Soap Dirt, and stay tuned for updates on your favorite characters' fates. The California sun beat down on the sprawling Forrester Creations building, casting its warm glow on the polished glass and steel facade. Inside, the atmosphere was anything but serene. A tension that crackled like a live wire filled the air as Steffi Forrester paced the floor of her corner office, her heels clicking against the sleek, marble flooring. Steffi's jaw was set, her usually composed demeanor frayed at the edges. She had just come from a meeting that left her reeling, every muscle in her body coiled with the urge to confront the woman at the center of her fury, Hope Logan. Hope's latest move was a stunt so brazen that even the most hardened fashion industry veterans would have blinked twice. The sketch, a bold and avant-garde piece that had caught Finn's eye when he attended a recent Forrester preview, had been Hope's doing. She had pushed the boundaries, claiming creative genius while masking the real motive behind it. Finn had shown up at the office that morning with an innocent grin, oblivious to the storm brewing in Steffi's chest. He had gushed about the piece, its elegant lines, and the way it seemed almost tailored for him, unknowingly fanning the flames of Steffi's jealousy and rage. He had no clue what the sketch symbolized, nor how it tied back to Hope's unspoken intentions. Steffi stopped pacing and turned, catching her reflection in the wide office windows. Her dark hair cascaded over her shoulders, eyes narrowed like a predator ready to pounce. No, this wasn't just about a drawing. This was about trust, loyalty, and the subtle games that Hope always seemed to play. Games that danced dangerously close to the edge of betrayal. The door to her office swung open abruptly, and Thomas stepped inside, brow furrowed, sensing the charged atmosphere. Steffi, what's going on? I could hear you pacing all the way down the hall, Thomas said, his voice cautious but curious. She turned to him, eyes blazing. Did you see it? Hope's sketch. The one Finn couldn't stop raving about this morning. Her voice was low, but each word dripped with venom. Thomas's eyes widened slightly as he nodded. Yeah, I saw it. It's impressive, but why does it have you so worked up? You're not seriously thinking. Oh, I'm beyond thinking, Thomas, Steffi snapped, cutting him off. Hope knew exactly what she was doing. That design was meant to catch Finn's attention, and it worked. Thomas's gaze softened as he pieced together her suspicion. He moved to the edge of the desk, leaning against it, arms crossed. Are you sure it's not just coincidence? Hope's been pushing herself lately, trying to prove she's more than just sweet lines and safe ideas. Maybe this is part of her evolution as a designer. Maybe, Steffi said, her tone clipped. 
But then why include the subtle reference to the lake house? The way the lines mirrored the view from that place then loves, she knows, she's playing her hand, and it's one step too far. Thomas shook his head slowly, but a frown etched across his features. It's one thing for her to experiment, but if she's using her position to get under your skin. Steffi's expression darkened. It's not just me she's trying to get to. Finn, she's testing how far she can push before someone calls her out. Well, today, I'm calling her out. Before Thomas could respond, a knock came at the door, and without waiting for an invitation, Hope stepped inside, portfolio clutched to her chest. She had that look, part confidence, part innocence, that always seemed to disarm those around her. But today, Steffi was anything but disarmed. Steffi Thomas, Hope said, her voice breezy but faltering as she took in Steffi's icy glare. I hope I'm not interrupting. You are, Steffi said coldly, crossing her arms over her chest. But since you're here, maybe we should talk about this little creative venture of yours. Hope's eyes flitted to Thomas and back to Steffi, a flicker of unease crossing her face. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, don't play coy, Hope. The sketch. The one that practically screamed Finn's name. The one with the view that only he and a handful of others would recognize. Hope's mouth opened, but the words seemed to catch in her throat. Steffi, it was just a design. I didn't. Didn't what? Think I'd notice? That he'd mention it to me? Steffi's voice grew louder, cutting through Hope's attempt at explanation. You're overstepping, and you know it. This isn't about fashion. This is about crossing boundaries. The room fell silent, tension thick enough to slice through. Thomas shifted uncomfortably, glancing between the two women, the battle lines clearer than ever. Hope's eyes hardened, the guilt melting into a defensive stare. That's not fair, Steffi, Hope said, a hint of steel in her voice. I'm allowed to push my creative boundaries without being accused of whatever it is you're suggesting. You're making this personal when it isn't. Oh, it's personal, Hope, Steffi countered, stepping forward until only a few feet separated them. It's personal when you're trying to test my marriage. You can play the wide-eyed artist all you want, but I know you, I know how you work. Hope straightened her shoulders, unwilling to back down. This isn't about Finn. This is about you not trusting him, or me, for that matter. If that's the real issue, then maybe you need to take a hard look in the mirror. The silence that followed was a chasm, wide and dangerous. Thomas cleared his throat, trying to diffuse the tension. Hey, maybe we should all take a breather and come back to this later. But Steffi raised a hand, stopping him. No, Thomas, we're done here. Hope, I'm warning you, stay in your lane. Push your designs, but stay away from my husband. Hope's eyes narrowed, but she said nothing. Instead, she turned on her heel and walked out, leaving a silence that rang louder than any shouting match ever could. Steffi's heart hammered in her chest as the door closed. She could feel the tremors of her fury subsiding, leaving only a cold, simmering resolve. This wasn't over, not by a long shot.